I'll try to call this guy that wanted to expose artists <laughs> having, <reaching> fake, people. <laughs> <laughs> having fake followers and all of that to create an image that they are, you know. Uh, yo. Yo, Tak, how you doing? Habib, go be This is uh, Yad, the host from the Flamingos podcast. Yes. How you doing? Nice. I'm good, my brother. How you feeling? <laughs> um, I'm very great after hearing your voice, mashallah. Very formal. Uh, yeah, Lala, he's very, so he's very professional. He's very professional. Like, I'm, so you're so sexy. Yo, what oh, the okay. fuck? Yo, 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 anyway, <laughs> how you doing, thank man? Thank you, thank you for the lovely intro, my bro. How you doing? Alhamdulillah, bro. How's oh. everything? Bro, uh, honestly, I called you to, خلاص, يعني, to put uh, this topic يعني, out there. Yes, fuck me. Tell me, you've, I've seen you on a streak for a couple weeks, a couple, we- uh, couple months ago. That I've always yes. wanted, but we didn't have the right circumstances to do that. Uh, talking about how there are plenty of artists with fake numbers. Yes, that uh-huh. is true. Uh-huh. Take it, lead it, please. You you want me you want me to, to to give you the lowdown on the situation? I mean, yeah. If you don't want to mention names, don't. If you want to mention his name, no, I'll mention, mention names. names. I don't mind, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah, mention names. Bro, <laughs> 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 honestly, look, look. You have you have these labels like VVIP and whatever. Okay. Right, with with their fucking artists, right? Which I'm not going to talk about the quality of the music. That's just another thing completely. <laughs> okay, but but like, but bro, how how are you going to tell me? I've never seen you perform in my life anywhere in Dubai. Mm. And you're a Dubai-based, quote-unquote, Dubai-based artist. Okay? <laughs> and you have 300,000 fucking followers. <laughs> I don't understand. How? Who Who are they? Who are they? And then I go look at your comments, and it's 30 comments. And mm. 28 of them are bots. <laughs> and, three, and three guys watching Thank the live. You. Huh? Three guys only watching the live when they yeah, go live. Yeah, you feel me? Like, no, like, how are you doing that, bro? Like, how do you, how do you not have the shame? Like, are you not ashamed of yourself? Mm. And and even if your label is the one doing it, like, are, do you not have like confront them? Don't be a fucking bitch. Mm. Like, <laughs> honestly, it's kind of disgusting. It's actually really disgusting, bro. Because then these are the ones that end up taking the chances. Uneducated brands mm. and their lack of. Um, not knowing how to hire the right people, yeah, they're gonna go look at their pages and think they're actually popping because now they have the blue check, <clears throat> mm. and the blue check is the easiest thing in the world to get. Convince, yeah. You know what I mean, it's kind of it's, and then then they get the opportunities that they don't deserve. True. It's it's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous, and I just the authentic the authenticity is just not there. You know. Uh, you know what's the problem? Uh, I mean, up to seventy five percent. Of the artists, maybe that do that, <clears throat> especially over here. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's the problem. And look, honestly, look, man. Uh, at end of the day, as me as an individual, mm. it doesn't bother me because I know the longevity of their career is not is nothing. It's not going to hundred percent. Yeah, that's the reality. So it doesn't bother me realistically. Mm. The thing that does bother me though is these artists. Then when you meet them, they act like they're they're somebody. They're gods on me? earth, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? And mm. it's like, bro, listen, listen. I like me. I'll call it out. I'll call it out, and I think more people should call it out when they when you see them. When you see them, bro, ask them about their fucking followers. How about that? Mm. Honestly, I, I recommend everybody when if you see one of those fucking people around mm. when they when you go to their shows, if they even have one, mm. and they have 10 and that's people, they're asking out them about to everyone, right? Where not, their 10, now, followers are, we're not speaking where specifically about VVIP only, right? We're speaking about everyone. Sorry? We're speaking now about in general, everyone. There's no one in specific, but anyone with fake followers now, right? Yeah, anyone. I'm not yeah. talking about VVIP yeah, in particular. Yeah. I was giving them as an example because they're the most outrageous. Yeah. Mm. Like, how do you look at the VVIP fucking accounts? It's one million followers. Where are they in your comments? Where are they in your fucking live? Mm. Like, you have I don't have an with these guys? pushing oh. your artists. Okay. I don't have an issue with you pushing your artists whack fucking music. Mm. Just do it authentically. Okay. Maybe then they'll actually learn something, and maybe then they won't have those fucking egos acting like they own the city when they when they, you'll never see them sell out a show. You'll never see them sell out a tiny venue even, because mm. no one knows who the fuck they are. All the artists here, we all know each other, yeah, but we don't know them. What does that tell you about shit? Mm. What does that tell you about their 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 existence? You know what I mean? It's just artists like that, labels like that. You know what I mean? Quote unquote labels. You know, not like 
mm. actual love. You feel me? Yeah. I just think it's fucking ridiculous, bro. I also think that like they don't know. I low key feel sorry for them because I feel like in people in those positions, they've been sold a dream. Mm. They've been sold a dream that something is going to happen, like something real is going to happen. And I also want to preface this by saying nothing in Dubai that happens is real. Nothing, the actual success of it does not exist. Me performing on Saudi B in 2019 means nothing in the real world. Mm. Me performing for Expo means nothing in the real world. It's mm. not a real thing. It might feel good. It's a good ex experience for sure, 100%. It's a learning. And the, peop and the people that make that happen for, for these artists is amazing. Mm. But don't forget where the fuck you are. You're not special. You're not special at all. You're one of 300 people that do the exact same thing as you. Mm. I, people need to fucking like like need to remember where we are in this world bro. like opening for I don't know Wiz Khalifa in Dubai is not opening for Wiz Khalifa in fucking uh, LA. Uh, I don't know whatever the fuck Wiz Khalifa's yeah. from yeah. in the US you know mm. Mm. Pittsburgh yeah it's not the same bro if I go to yeah, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh no one's gonna fucking you know I'll, I'll probably get Pitt bro I get, I get a considerable get amount of money to perform okay mm. all right if I go to the States right now to a random club, okay, I'll get paid maybe $20. Mm. And if Dubai, these Dubai fucking artists go to uh, these clubs and start quoting them 10K, they're fucking laugh at their face. True. Because that's a purely Dubai thing. Yeah. You feel me? Mm. But yeah, I get, I get so angry when I talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we no have idea. to, uh, we have to, yeah. That, that's, uh... No, man, it's just it's frustrating. It's also because the, the reality is I don't hate anyone that does this. Yeah. I just, just don't respect them. And okay. I don't think they respect themselves or the craft enough. For That's them true. To, and I believe that they don't respect the, the craft as much because yeah. they're not really working as hard as they should. Yeah, you know? exactly. And uh, honestly, they're missing out, bro. It's so fun and it's so rewarding to spend fucking hours, the days. past four yeah, years of yeah. my life That's gaining 4,000 followers. True. And those 4,000 followers give a fuck about me. True. It's been so rewarding, bro, internally as a person. Yeah. It feels good that these people first follow and stuck around, bro. You mm. know what I mean? Like, it's, and they care. You know what I mean? I mean, not all of them, obviously. I always tell people yeah. I have 4,000 followers on Instagram, whatever, but I only have 100 fans. Mm. You know? Like, but those 100 fans that I spent four years grinding for give a fuck about me and would buy any shirt I release, would buy anything that I drop, would buy any album, pay whatever amount of money. Mm. That's what fucking matters, bro. Those are the people that matter, and you're not getting them with your 300,000 followers. True. Yeah, but uh, but the thing is, for, for the people, for the artists who who have music as their bread and bread and butter, basically, don't yeah. don't these people who, ha who get these 300k followers and all these fake followers, don't they take food off their plate? Don't they take the opportunities? They 100% opp they do, bro. Like because again, like I said, dude, you'll get these brands and venues that that they uh, fall into no that with, with yeah small research yeah, that no they do lazy researches exactly. Exactly, mm. they have no education whatsoever on how to find the difference between these, uh, the fake accounts and the, and the real ones. Um, well, look at your follower account and then book you for a, for a venue. You go perform, you bring no one to their venue, and then now they're like, fuck, now the person like me, for example, with 4,000 who can actually sell out this venue, well, they'll, I'll go to them or they'll come to me, and then when I give them a quote that's reasonable for me, they'll be like, no, because this person with 300,000 couldn't fucking True. Get, give us even 20 customers. How are you going to do it with your 4K? Or they even mean? stop searching about this type of artists, yes, exactly. you know, when, they when they looking, see they that. Feel yeah. They feel that's cheated. True. Yeah. They feel true. cheated and you can't blame them. They're a business. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, and when you space your, obviously when you, when you, uh, as an artist, you base your business around lies because you are a business as an artist. Yeah. You, other businesses won't fuck with you because they, they don't want to, Lose revenue. They don't want to lose, waste their time. And why? Why should they? You know, hundred so percent. It's unfortunate, man. Because on, uh, the way that the music industry is, um, other industries look at us like like a monolith. Like if one artist in the community is trash, everyone else is trash. Mm, everyone that's else true. Is that's true. Everyone else is like um, everyone else is uh, is good. It's the same. Lie, yeah, yeah. lie to me about their yeah, engagement. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, it's frustrating, man. It takes food off our plate. It also just in general it makes you look like a, a little bitch, bro. Like it makes you look like a fucking dickhead. Yeah, and the metric, so, the, the metric for who's good and who's not, and who's worth it and who's not, is based on the completely wrong things. Yeah, completely. And you know what? I would be so happy, even bro. Look, regardless, regardless of these artists, even though the artists that do have the fake followers, a lot of them are actually fucking trash. 
I would be completely okay with them getting these opportunities uh, and actually keep selling up those venues or, or doing what they need to do, even regardless of how I feel about their music, regardless. Mm. If they're doing that with their following and their following cares about them, I'll be happy because it's none of my business, bro. Then but then there's nothing here. backing it up. Yeah, but this, but whatever. Look, end of the day, if people are listening to you and they care enough to buy a ticket and come watch you perform, mm. I have nothing to say about that. That's a fan base and that's up to sure. you how you, whatever. But I'd respect that regardless of how I feel about the music. I would respect it, you mm. know? Mm -hmm. But now these fucking idiots don't have, they don't have good music or a fucking real fan base. I and mean, you have nothing. What are you? That's you true. know, at least yeah. have good music, bro. At least. <laughs> Yo, طيب, uh, we're not gonna take so much time, by the way. I just wanted to talk to you about this. But I'm I know you just wanted to click, so you take the snippet. <laughs> you post it on your page. Nah, bro. You, you know that. You know that. We, I, the last person who cares about this. I know. I know. I'm just fucking. With you. Don't. Anyway, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yo, uh, anything you're releasing soon? Right before we uh, close. Anything I'm releasing soon, I am, I am uh, in the mastering process of my EP. Okay. Right. Hopefully, inshallah, sometime to the end of this year or the early next year. Uh, Beautiful. Tentative, uh, tentative timeline for now. Okay. But it's going to be the best project to come out of Dubai. For sure. But time. Statements. Fuck all y'all other niggas. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's, that's the story that I'm going to put. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Exactly uh, what you yo, uh, also, also, yeah. also, any bad bitches hit my line. Any bad bitches in Abu Dhabi, <laughs> Dubai, and mine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Uh, peace out. Uh, yo, <laughs> he's, he's sitting here. Quick. I know he has a, he has a lot to say about this, but let him let him breathe. Hold on, bro. Uh, is, bro, by the way, like a lot of the reality of what's going on in this industry, I was only made aware of it by Eric. <laughs> To be honest with you. Lala, Lala, I'm, 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 I've been cooking for this, but yeah, I just need some time as well. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, this yeah, is yeah. all, bro. Uh, don't worry. It's going to happen. Uh, shout out to you and him as well. Peace, Storm. Thank you, my brother. All love. Uh, anything else you want to add before we close? No, nah, man. Just uh, Anyone you, you want to shoot? Anyone I want to shoot? <laughs> Hello, I'm joking. That's my, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, Tabe, and with him. Take care, bro. Hello. Thank you very much. Peace, my <coughs> we'll we'll, we'll have a sit down, inshallah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, bro. Take care. Yeah, love. Bye. Bye, bro. Peace, peace.